next icon which we can do is this music icon so paste our shape move it next to the music icon and we want to fill this shape with this pink to orange gradient so change the fill to gradient fill select the first color and set it to maybe this one select the second color and set it to some orange one this look quite similar okay so this is the base shape we can hide it for a while and move to this node symbol we will try to find the symbol in our CGI UI font because it's quite common symbol but if, as you can see there are single nodes, double nodes, but the double node is you know tilted to the other way. So we'll probably insert this node, change the outline to no outline, fill to no fill. Maybe in the text box options we will change the margins to zero millimeters. And now what we can do is to somehow distort this symbol to be a little bit tilted. So in the format pane, change the word our styles, transform to this um, where it is it's, it's probably not visible so I will resize it so you can see it it's this slant up it's of course too much slant it so we will grab this pink handle and we just like this maybe resize it a little so we have a shape similar to the night uh, note icon in the in the icon so we just show our background change the text fill to white and we can even add an outline so it will be a little bit rounded if you want to get rid of this gap we can insert our own freeform shape and draw a shape over this gap set the outline to no outline and fill color to white now all you need to do is just select every object, group it together, rename it to music icon and move it to the first page.